Well, I'm Anders. I'm from Sweden. I'm 55 years old. I am here at Spirit Wine in Brazil, in the rainforest with all the sounds in the background. I found this retreat just a couple of days ago. Uh, I have not investigated in ayahuasca or anything like it, so this is a new experience. I do have since a lot of years had a constant, more or less, headaches after a ski accident and I'm trying to see whether I can find some way to heal that. We had prepared quite a lot, mentally at least I did, as soon as I understood what I gave myself into. I had a tremendous headache <coughs> when I did the first video and slowly it disappeared after I drank the ayahuasca and then I had an experience that I actually didn't anticipate that much of because I didn't have any preset ideas of what this was going to be about. I try to move with an open mind and heart and and uh, I'm not I'm not asking for any specific experience except for the certain issues that I want to bring up. To throw oneself into uh, an experience like this without guidance would be a little bit scary, I think, because now now at least we have tools and a precept on how to handle things when when things that are not so nice to to handle comes up if they come up and uh, so that felt very secure we looked back to our childhood and and try to figure out what kind of type of traumas and why and what they brought with us in the rest of the life and that was interesting uh, and helpful I think through the session and we are comfortable here we uh, take yoga for those who want swim swim in the pond which I like and uh, get massage if one wants and uh, the food is excellent Sylvia and Rohan, as, as the facilitators, did a good job, insightful job, and uh, it's obviously out of knowledge and experience they are working. The first session was a big, it was like having like three, four, different projectors giving me images, insights, pictures from what I've done before or experience like that. The second time I it was like 30 projectors so it was really overwhelming. So one has to trust the, the facilitators and their knowledge and experience of what they have and what they do. So the last session was not so many sensations when it comes to images and light. And, and I didn't see those patterns. I didn't see all the images, the fun things and all the things that some people uh, could refer to as a, as, as, as a trip. Uh, but I had an inner dialogue and, and what I, I'm here for is to heal my brain. I have had a number of concussions and I have had a, a tremendous problem with these concussions. The effect of them has caused brain damage. Using a technique that Sylvia gave us during one of the sessions before the ayahuasca session, where I try to image the time and the place and the circumstances of my trauma. And in this case, it was the trauma of a concussion. So I had this image of a, uh, of a police officer 
And, and I directly after we shared, I understand that police officers have different meanings for different cultures and different languages. A police officer in Sweden is considered, as, at least when I was a child, as a person who helps you. Not a threat, nothing dangerous, but rather somebody that really helps you. So during the ayahuasca, I brought up this vision and this, this situation, I, and I asked to, to be healed and to get this spirit out of my brain. And then I started to remember all the different concussions that I have had in my life. And for each one, a spirit popped up of a former person and in one instant an animal. And I took them for a journey during my ayahuasca session and brought them out, out, out of space where time and sense and reality doesn't exist anymore. And I placed them in a, in a field of energy and asked them to, to go and heal themselves. And they were to be picked up or whatever. One has to come up with an idea of a, a, a vision or a, or a image of how to do this. And then I went back and I actually was lying, resting. And, and just let the ayahuasca session continue. I found myself a, a safe place. And for me, a safe place is when I rest my head in my partner's lap. So that was exactly what I did. And I did that for an hour. But f what is funny is that one of the other members afterwards said that I saw you were lying there and somebody was fixing your brain. brain. And I was lying there feeling that my brain was open. Um, slowly, it took over and, and, and I just could rest and lie there and slowly dawn come and I woke up and I went to bed. What is more important is if whether I feel better or not. And uh, during the dialogue I have had an insight that I still have to do healing of myself, but also healing for others. Uh, and uh, I'm definitely not a different person from what I was when I came here. But I have a different posture. I feel stronger. I feel more present and most of all I feel more at ease with the situation. If it is ayahuasca, yes probably part of it because it releases the ability to let go and be with yourself uh, and meet yourself in areas and in, in places where you never dared to go or decided to 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 uh, use alcohol or fun so-called fun life or promiscuous uh, relationships or whatever to choose not to go into and uh, i think that, that that part i i don't know whether i needed it for that sake, but I needed it to just take another other step. The retreat as such, even without ayahuasca, would probably have helped because the environment, the openness, the group dynamics, the individuals that are here and the facilitators creates an environment that makes things happen. All of us change to, during this week. The facilitators changed a bit. The people who participated changed a bit. The people who decided 
not to dare to walk the step of ayahuasca changed and was part of the whole thing. I don't think this is an experience that everybody is prepared or ready to take, but with courage and uh, some insights of yourself and trust and faith, it's worth it. So I still have my headache. It's not as strong as the first video, but I'm pleased. Thank you.